13 Creepiest Tourist Destinations But first, thanks for leaving us this comment, Sprinting Koi Wolf. We're glad we could help you out with your science class. Let us know the creepiest tourist destination you've been to in the comment section, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 13. Iceland's Witchcraft Museum There's many strange museums out there like we're about to see on this list, but certainly one of the darkest, creepiest of them all is the Museum of Icelandic Sorcery and Witchcraft. Iceland has been home to some interesting beliefs and folklore, and witchcraft has been a part of their culture for centuries. For example, it exhibits information about how to bring someone back from the dead, involving unusual poetry, spells, and walking through graveyards. When you walk into the museum, you would see this spooky looking zombie rising from the floor. Other spells you'd learn would be the one that talks about how to make someone invisible. Possibly one of the most terrifying pieces is this dried skin of someone's legs, made into pants. Number 12. The Sedlak Ossuary Located in the Czech Republic, this 13th century ossuary is certainly on the list of creepy tourist attractions in Europe. During this time, the demand for burial space at this location was at an all-time high. Crusaders had brought back soil from the Holy Land, making it a hot spot for people looking to be buried here. During the 19th century, there were so many bones at this location, the priests decided to use the bones as building blocks. The inside is basically decorated with bones along the interior like you see in this photo. Elaborate statues are also made into things like chandeliers. Number 11. Gardens of Bomarzo Also known as the Parco dei Monstri to the Italians, which literally translates to the Park of Monsters, this certainly isn't your average park. It's here you'll find some strange sculptures that might give you nightmares. This one here is called the Orcus, or Mouth of Hell, and was designed so that anyone that whispers inside could be heard. Other sculptures depict elephants eating people, a woman in a questionable position, and whatever this thing is supposed to be. Constructed in 1550, this historical park makes you question people's sanity at times. Number 10. Child Eater Fountain This horrific looking statue is located in Bern, Switzerland, and depicts a festively dressed ogre feasting on babies. Some of the babies are being bagged up as leftovers. The true mystery about this statue is that no one really knows what the heck it's supposed to depict, and what inspired this person to create such a monstrous statue. It dates back to the 16th century, and it's been creeping out kids ever since. You better hope your children don't become the next victim of this thing. Some claim it's an anti-Semitic portrayal, while others claim it's what happens to kids when they don't behave before Christmas time. Number 9. Skeleton Lake This really doesn't sound like somewhere you'd want to go wakeboarding or during your next vacation. Skeleton Lake, or Rupkund, India, is located high up in the Indian Himalayas on an alpine spring. Sounds nice, until we mention the part that it's completely surrounded by skeletal remains of over 300 people. A hiker came across this scene, but couldn't quite figure out the reason for all the bones. Some say they were the victims of a massacre from an invading tribe sometime in 850 AD. Either way, you probably don't want to wander around this place for too long, or you might end up like these people. Number 8. Chonburi, Thailand Most of us probably consider Buddhism to be a peaceful, enlightening religion, but some Buddhists in Thailand with a wild imagination came up with this park. Also known as the Wang San Suk Hell Garden, tourists are basically getting an insane walkthrough of the artist's portrayal of hell, located outside a monastery. Some grotesque statues depict torture and suffering as you walk through. They believe that in hell, sinners must face brutal punishments. Despite some of the statues being quite graphic, it's a popular destination for family day trips. Do so at your own risk. Number 7. Tyneham Village this ghost town in the United Kingdom is one of the more eerie ghost towns that you're actually allowed to visit. Located on the English Channel west of Portsmouth, residents were forced to leave their homes so Allied troops could train for the invasion of Normandy nearly 70 years ago. The residents believed that they could return to their homes once the training was over, but they never did. And the town remains abandoned. It's now the largest army training ground in the UK. Visitors are allowed to come on certain days of the year, but the Ministry of Defense can withdraw access with short notice. Number 6. Burke's Fall, Ontario A Canadian artist by the name of Peter Kamani had a disturbing idea of building what he described as a forest. But instead of trees, he used 18-foot tall cement and screaming heads. Sounds peaceful, right? He intended this location for people to dump the ashes of their loved ones, but it really turned into a local tourist attraction that people want to check out. In this photo, from the angle it was taken, you can tell that hands were also constructed and seemed to go with the screaming heads. Number 5. The Witch's Market 
Located in one of Bolivia's two capitals, you'll find a creepy tourist attraction that will cater to all your spooky witchcraft potions and needs. Whether you need some dried frogs or llama fetuses, this lively market will have what you're looking for. Other merchandise includes potions, strange statues, and good luck charms. Threads of llama fur get wrapped around the statues for good luck. Number 4. The Mudder Museum If you're into strange medical mysteries and oddities, the Mudder Museum might be right up your alley. This is probably one of the strangest places you may ever go. Here you might find some random things like jars filled with peeled off human skin, hippopotamus fat from South Africa, a book bound in human skin, and all sorts of horrific things that will give you nightmares. Don't forget about slices of Einstein's brain on display that were taken without permission. They also house a large inventory of skulls that were used to see if the craniums hold anatomical differences from different races around the world. If you're not slightly creeped out by this place, there's something wrong with you. Number 3. The Capuchin Crypt We might have mentioned this in a previous video, but it's truly hard to get over the creepiness of the Capuchin Crypts located in Rome, Italy. This is also an ossuary made up of bones of several thousand Capuchin monks. They're commonly arranged into artsy ensembles, covering the wall and ceilings. This definitely seems like a place you don't want to stay at night. You can see them even dressed up in robes. There are six themed rooms with bones creating furniture, and ironically, even the tombs like you see in this photo. Photography isn't allowed, but certainly seems like it's worth a trip. Number 2. Odessa Catacombs There might be a lot of catacombs out there in Europe, but something just seems a tad more eerie about the ones in Odessa after doing some research. Originally built as a limestone mine like you can see from this photo, it's supposed to be closed to the public, but people still find a way into this forbidden zone. The catacombs in Odessa, Ukraine have a massive tunnel system that stretches out to be about 1,500 miles. That's longer than San Diego to Seattle. And it's not just the bones you might find there, but the shady things going on as well. This place has a haunting history, and it was supposedly home to where executions of Nazi soldiers took place. It also acted as a Soviet hideout. In modern times, it's been the location of homicides, illegal mushroom cultivators, and bootleg winemakers. Recently, a woman explored these tunnels and never came back. Rumors of treasure being here make it popular for urban explorers. Enter if you dare. Number 1. Velisca Axe Murder House Believing that people would actually make a tourist attraction where gruesome murders took place seems beyond ridiculous and disrespectful. An entire family of six met their untimely end here in 1912, and the mystery was never solved who was responsible. Some are bothered by the fact that ghost hunters and tourists are allowed to stay the night here, but this might not seem to be the best bed and breakfast place to stay at. It's reportedly haunted by the victims, and one ghost hunter actually became possessed and stabbed himself in 2014. There was no indications of foul play, and the ghost hunter had reported no mental health issues. It appears as though all the wounds were self-inflicted.